Flage Johnson, LSU guard. I'm talking women's basketball. She said to Fox <laughs> News, they were asking her about leaving to go to the WNBA. Luckily for her, she doesn't have to make that decision yet as she's only 20 years old. And the rule for the WNBA is 22 years of age. However, she says <laughs> it was a trip. She basically said that um, why would it's like, why would I leave college to go play where you're not treated like a professional? <laughs> Because it's the only sports league in which you can go from college now and you take the down, <laughs> down in your salary. And that's what's happening right now with these women in college basketball. College women's basketball is a professional sport. The WNBA is the minor leagues. Yes. And why? Because they're getting paid like shit in the WM WNBA. But you know what? It's their own goddamn fault. They can't market the league for crap. They're being subsidized by the NBA. And they've lost money every – they've lost $10 million on average every single year since the inception of the league. Any other business that loses that type of money on a year-to-year -year basis and makes no profit would have shut down. The only reason that league exists to this day at this point is because of the movements we have in this country and, and all this shit that goes on with we got to promote women's basketball. People don't care about the WNBA. You know who people care about right now? They care about Angel Reese. They care about – Caitlin Clark, they care about Flage Johnson, they care about Paige Bukers out of UConn, they care about Haley Von Lith out of LSU, was at Louisville before, they care about Juju Watkins out of USC. That is pro sports for women's college basketball. So when you, t but the reality is, women's college basketball does not operate like a business. It operates because the big time schools can pay these people, these girls, because their football programs roll in money because LSU as a women's basketball program last year lost eight million dollars as a basketball program are you kidding but yet Angel Reese has a, an NIL valuation of 1.7 million Flage Johnson's at 1.1 million Caitlin Clark 910k Haley Cavender 868 Paige Buker, 652, and Haley Violet, 563. Those are the top five for female women's basketball. You know what the highest salary is in the WNBA? $242,000. Erica Wheeler. You got about 10 girls, women that make about 200 grand, a little bit between 242 and 200 grand. And you're telling this girl who's making a fucking killing at LSU, who's making a million dollars. Yeah, you might want to turn. Oh, fuck, you're not turning pro. If I could stay here for the next decade, I would. Give me some more COVID <laughs> because I want to stay here till I'm 35. Oh. And and this is and and you know, kudos to Flage Johnson because Caitlin Clark has a decision to make now. Angel Reese has a decision to make. They're 22 years old. They can turn pro. Hey, no. In my opinion, both their assets should stay in school. Because they're going to make four to five times. Baby, got 242. Angel Reese will be collecting $2 million next year. Ten times? Eight times? Why the hell would I go? Why would I go back, go to the WNBA to go be treated like a freaking child flying commercially when I'm flying in chartered jets right now? I'm staying in five-star hotels. And in the WNBA, I'm going to stay in a Holiday Inn Express with free breakfast. And that's a good hotel for them. Like, bruh, I, I, I was, I saw this today and, and it just made me, it just clicked in my brain because I'm just like, man, this is crazy. So let me ask you guys real quick before we go. Would you turn pro? Hell no. I was, I'm in college. I'm taking, I'm taking French class. I'm getting my master's degree. Oh I'm yeah. Getting... I'm taking I'm bullshit. Master's... I'm taking bullshit class. I'm taking French. I'm taking the art of picking flowers. I'm taking, <laughs> I'm, taking I'm taking culinary. I'm taking meal prep 101. I'm taking it. I'm taking PE again. I don't give a damn. Yeah, I think I'm leaving this this wonderful, masterful place that take care of me. No way. I'm still here, baby. I'm never leaving. I'm and this never. is why these girls. This is why these women go play in other countries because to make that type of. I mean, it. But this is what NIL is created. It's created an environment where we're not in reality. We're paying. We're paying people at a certain level that they're never going to see in their profession. Whereas in every other sport, football, basketball, what you know, football, basketball primarily, they're going to get paid. Men's basketball, their their salaries will go way up. You know, 
But this goes back to the WNBA in terms of how they market. I mean, they're begging us to watch. They put together this Steph and Sabrina nonsense. You know what I was – I saw a post. And I'm not sure if this is correct or not. I don't think it's correct. But there was a post on our, on our video with Sabrina and Steph where the person – when someone said it was a digital court, so they changed the line. You just didn't know it. Oh. I don't know that to be true. I don't think that was true because they were reporting that it was the same line. But did you also see that there are actually reports now of potentially moving the line back? To make it like a 26 footer for three pointer and getting rid of the corner three in the NBA, yeah. Oh, so they don't want to go with my idea, <laughs> they want to make it, a, they want to make guys shoot 30 footers for you know all day long. But you know what, you'll do if you make it a 26, 27 foot shot, those bums that can't shoot won't be shooting, of course not. It changes the mid range, the mid range game will come back, it changed, of course, it definitely changed the game. But I not, think the corner three, I, I think you widen the court more, but and make it a long ass corner three, how, but. How long do you let? How, yeah. how long? How long do that last? Though, eventually, everybody's gonna start shooting from further. But for right, <laughs> we shoot from half court. But for right, for, 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 for right now, I guess it's a, you know, it's a little. They, they should make a, They should make the NBA court 125 feet. You got your damn mind. I never play that. I never play basketball again. We're not playing half court games. Come on, baby. We play half, well, court. half, half court. would be like 60 feet. No, we're playing half court game. Make it, take it, baby. The rules, baby. Make it, take it. That's all. That's all I got, man. Awesome. And everyone, yeah. thank you again. You know, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. We appreciate you. We broke two hundred. Come on now. Donald, take it away, man. Come on now. Let's awesome. go.